there comes a time in every producer's life when you run out of space somewhere. If that somewhere is your dig attack and you've been stressing over how to back it up, you're in luck. Today I'm going to walk through how to back up and restore a project on your dig attack. Here we go. Okay, so how do you back up a pattern on the dig attack? How do you get it off the dig attack to free up some space, but know that you can always restore it later if you want to? That's what I'm gonna show you right now. So you need a PC, but we're not gonna use transfer, we're not gonna use overbridge. They don't do this, not to my knowledge anyway. We're also not gonna use Electron C6. Software is pretty old, doesn't seem to wanna work on, uh, on a Mac in 2021. So we're going to use SysX Librarian. It's free, it works. So that's, that's the basis of, of this uh, demonstration. You want to do it with C6, knock yourself out. Uh, I can't help you. We need to make sure that the PC, and more specifically, SysX Librarian on the PC can see the dig attack. So in order to do that, go to Settings, go down to System, to USB config and make sure it's not in overbridge mode. I've got it set to USB MIDI and as you can see on the screen uh, the electron dig attack is shown as a source. I didn't type that there it just appears when all the wires are connected and it's not in overbridge mode. If I set it to overbridge mode it is immediately going to disappear from SysX library. It's not a valid source anymore. Go back to USB MIDI Give it a sec, and there's the dig, dig attack is back. So that's just a little bit of foundational setup that you need in order to do the transfer. Now, let's back up this awesome pattern. First thing you're gonna do from inside the pattern you wanna back up, so again, go to settings, go to sysx, sysx dump, sysx send, and then you hit project, active project. Now, it's showing you select interface USB or USB MIDI. I'm just gonna hit USB. But before I hit yes, because yes is like the go button, you know, transfer the data, I'm gonna go back to SysX Librarian and I'm gonna press record many. Now SysX Librarian is listening. Back on the dig attack, I'm going to hit yes. It's sending, and if we look at uh, SysX Librarian, we can see it's receiving a bunch of messages. It's going to get about four megs of data, or 129 messages. Uh, when I'm doing it, it's about four megs, 3.9 megs. Okay, so we got a success message in the dig attack, and it's telling me to click done on SysX Librarian. So I'm going to click done. So now we've got a file in on the on the computer an untitled file. So I'm gonna rename it so I don't lose track of what's what because these things pile up. Okay, so there's our project backup and then uh, this SysX Librarian is showing us the files in this folder. If I just double click this, um, it'll update the name. Okay, and because, you know, even though double clicking it plays the SysX because the dig attack wasn't listening, it doesn't do anything. So it's no problem. So now we've got our project underscore back that thing up file. Um, good to go on the, on the computer. So we're done, right? No, we're not done. You gotta test your backups. Otherwise, they're worthless. So let's make a new project and load this back up into it. See what we got. So I'm going to just quickly make a new project. We'll call it restore. Okay, and we're gonna load that guy up. We don't have to save back that. Okay, proceed. Okay. So now 
you can see this is an untitled pattern. There's nothing here. So it's time to restore from our backup into this new project. If we go to Project Manage Projects, go all the way down here, you can see we're in Restore. We're not in the Back That project anymore. Okay, so how do we restore our backup? Very similar to the way that we made our backup. Go to Settings, SysX Dump. This time, instead of Send, we're going to say SysX Receive. We're going to select the pattern where we want to start the backup restoration. So I'm going to start right on AO1. So now it's listening, waiting data. Go back to the PC, select the right file, and hit play. This, this can take a little while. You see waiting data, waiting data. Eventually, we're going to get that uh, thang up pattern is going to show up here. Okay, so we got our pattern. That's all I care about right now. Uh, even though I backed up the whole project, there's nothing else there for me. Um, but you'll remember, we did record all, so we, we took the whole project. I'm going to stop this, and I'm just going to throw the caveat out there. Do this at your own risk. I don't know if this is a data corruption risk or not, um, but it's going to save us a bunch of time here. So I'm going to hit no on the dig attack to stop the import process, and then back on the computer, I'm just going to hit cancel to stop the... Uh, to, to stop the transfer. Okay, so we are, we're in the SysX receive menu. I'm gonna back all the way back out to the pattern and you can see the, the pattern name changed from untitled to thang up. So let's play it. Let's hear what we got. Something ain't right. Okay, so I guess you guessed already. Unfortunately, we don't get the sounds and and the pattern and the rhythm and the trace. We just get the, the pattern data, not the sound data. So this is really step one of backup and restore test. We backed up the pattern and we restored the pattern, but we also need to get the sounds. So that's what we'll do next. That backup procedure only gets the pattern. It doesn't get the sounds. So this is a two-step process. We're in the restored project. We need to go back to the original project to get the sounds. So let's do that now. I'm gonna load the project. It's asking me if I wanna save, what's the big change we made? Well, we imported that pattern data, so yeah, I'm gonna save it. If you forget to save it, you can just import the pattern again uh, when you come back with the sounds. Um, so now we're in the original project that we're backing up. And we need all those sounds. So how do we get these sounds? You'll notice in the SysX dump on send, it really only offers you project and pattern. So this is not where we want to be to get our sounds. So where we want to be, where we need to be, is in the import export menu uh, under the pattern menu. So these three dots is pattern menu. Um, if we select yes on import and export and go to manage sounds, these are our sound banks. And you'll remember a sound is just a sample that has uh, extra, extra data associated with it. Like if you tweaked the filter or raised the level or put an LFO on it. Um, that's a sound. It's a, it's a sample and then some dig attack characteristics married to it. So we have these eight banks of sounds. Um, H is empty. It's out of the way. That's where I'm going to put the sounds from this pattern, this project, uh, so that I can back them up. Okay, so backing up real quick. How do we do that? With export sound. So again, we're in the project. All right, and then we hit the pattern menu. Uh, go down here to import, export, hit yes, and then export sound. When you're exporting a sound, whatever whatever trig you hit last, that's, that's what it thinks you want to export. So I'm going to start on trig one, go all the way up to trig eight, and export all these guys. I'm just going to tell you ahead of time, these all have names already. They all have sound names because I've exported them in the past. If you're exporting sounds for the first time, 
it's just this, the name is going to say new sound. So you're probably going to want to rename it. Otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of sounds that say new sound. Um, so let's go. Here's the kick. Yes, I'm going to put it in H1. There it is. It says the bass. All right, it's got some tags. Save it. Okay, there's the second sound in H2. It's the 808 kick. Tags. Done. Okay. It's going right to H4. It's going to the next empty one. You don't actually have to hit them twice. I just seem to feel warm and fuzzy about hitting it more than once. There's a hi-hat. And then, oops, save it. Crash, it's pretty loud. Going into H7. Crash. Save. And then that cool thing, which is called landing, which I think I got from the factory. Okay, so I told you I just exported those sounds. Um, how do I verify that? Go to the pattern menu again. Let's go to manage sounds. Now in bank H, so here's bank E, here's bank H. There's eight sounds there now. And then from nine on, uh, there's nothing. It is right from here that we will uh, sysx these guys over to, over to the computer, over to sysx librarian. So I'm just going to hit the yes key to check or select these eight sounds. Okay, so those eight are selected. Then I'm going to hit the right arrow to get this menu up. And I'm going to highlight send sysx. Similar to before, you know, hitting yes here is like saying go before I tell it to go. I'm going to go back to the computer and I'm going to tap uh, or, or click record many. Okay, it's listening. Now hit yes, go. And just like that, in under a second, um, all that sound data has been sysxed over to the computer. And so it says total eight messages, 1.5K, and I'm going to hit done. So now I have this untitled file here, which I'm going to rename real quick. Okay, so now I've got a, a project file and a sound file for this amazing, awesome project that we're backing up. So I'm, we're done here. We are, we are done with the old project for now. I, I think for good, actually. Um, so it's time to go back to our new project and, and load in these sounds. So let's go to load, go to our restore project, save back that, nah. Um, yeah, that's fine. So now we're restoring this project. Okay. So, 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 um, let's, let's bring those sounds in. How do we do that? Now this time, we do need to go back into um, the settings menu to sysx dump, sysx receive, and here we can receive sounds. I want to get sounds that um, are, I want to put them into a bank that is, that is unused. Uh, so any bank that still says 256 is totally unused. Here's bank H and it has 248 because we put eight sounds there. Now, just because I want your trust, I'm gonna delete all these sounds in eight they're, they're, because you know they're here, right? I wanna show you that it doesn't matter. Delete, deleting those sounds. Okay, so they're gone. Um, so we're going to import the ones that we have from, um, from our, from our export backup. We're going to import them back in. In order to do that, again, we have to go to the sysx dump, uh, menu and receive. 
Now you see bank, bank H is empty, but just to even be more fresh and clean, let's go to bank D. Okay, now it's waiting for data. And over here on the computer, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play this sound file. All right, and it got the eight sounds. And then you'll notice too, because SysX librarian is funny like that, it, it, it uh, updated the name to match what I typed it in the file. All right, so it still says waiting data, but it's done. And now bank D is at 248. Or it has 248 slots left. Now notice, this didn't automatically fix our sequence. Um, but, but we will. Right now, real quick. Uh, we can do it from the sound browser. Function. This, uh, when you hit function in this wheel, you open the sound browser. I'm going to go to D. Okay. Um, so, let's get out of here. So, I'm saying for sample one, let's put that bass in. Oh my god. Uh, let's go to, let's go to two. What do you think? Sounds, uh, sounds like the old one to me. Uh, so let me just save that. And you'll notice load project. We're in restore. Let me go back to back that. So this is the original. a new guy so I think we backed up and restored folks a couple of caveats for just things to watch out for um, this pattern has no P locks or that's not true this pattern has some P locks what this pattern doesn't have in terms of P locks is what I like to do on my hi-hat all the time. I usually squeeze anywhere between, you know, two and four different hi-hat states onto, onto trig six. Um, but when I was experimenting with this, I found it to be um, kind of a pain to, to restore that. I don't know how to do it yet. Um, when I tried it, the, um, the sound, all the sounds came back as, as the same original, you know, the main sound. Uh, so it then became a task for me to make sure that I had not only exported the additional hi-hats um, that I use, like the open and the mid or whatever, but then to actually go through, um, to go through the, the pattern and decide, you know, where the open and the mid hi-hats are supposed to be. Uh, so I kind of left that out, and I, I understand that I left it out. But other P-locks, like, um, like percentages, uh, probability, and stuff like that, um, you know, different, different amounts of delay or repeats, that all works just fine. So that is a pattern backed up and restored on the dig attack. It's pretty sweet, right?